In this experiment, we will make, collect and test hydrogen gas. We can make hydrogen gas by reacting a reactive metal such as magnesium, which we'll use here today, or zinc, or maybe calcium as well. We react it with hydrochloric acid. Again, it's one more hydrochloric acid that we will react together. Magnesium comes as a ribbon and it's easily cut and easily uh, twisted into a little twirl there and reacting very rapidly with the hydrochloric acid. We collect the gas over water, again by the displacement of water in a water-filled test tube. When the bubbles come from the end of the tube, that is the test tube full. Again, I have collected four test tubes earlier, and again we'll do the standard gas tests. You will see from the, the gas in the tubes here that hydrogen is clear and colourless, and that uh, it is uh, bubbling freely here, so it is insoluble in water. The first gas test will be the universal indicator solution. You'll see no change there at all. It just remains green. The second test will be the lime water. There is no change to the lime water. It remains clear and colourless. The next test will be the burning splint test. That's actually the glowing splint test. The next test will be the burning splint test. Hydrogen burns with a squeaky pop. To recap the gas tests, the universal indicator remained green, lime water remained clear and colourless, the glowing splint was extinguished and the burning splint made the hydrogen gas burn with a pop. Hydrogen is insoluble in water, it is clear, clear and colourless and it is an insoluble gas.